girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty enthusiast and consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup. And today I am barefaced because we have to talk about Mother Pat's first skincare product. This is her new rose essence. And so I will be showing you demonstrations of this product, telling you my thoughts, the purpose of the product, how you can use it, if it's going to work well for all skin types, and then showing you just a couple of comparisons that I do have and letting you know my final thoughts on the product. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So like I said, Mother Pat has come out with her first ever skincare product. This is her Divine Skin, the Rose Essence. And she created this product because as we all know, Mother Pat has been doing makeup for eons. And she herself has said that she has created or has had to create a concoction um, of an essence to prep the skin of her models. And so by her creating this beautiful, and I say beautiful because the packaging is divine, but by creating this beautiful formula, we will get to experience her signature glow. I was watching Alicia Archer's review of this product and she gave a really great in-depth background of the product, why Pat created it. So I'll link her video down below. I think it is just phenomenal on um, what she was able to share in that video. So let me give you a little bit of a background of the product. I actually picked up a duo. So there was a bundle on the website where you could get the Rose Essence along with her, the Skin Fetish Highlight and Balm Duo. So I got the shade Nude. With the bundle, there were three different highlighter duo shades that you could get, but for some reason when I went on there to purchase it, the other two shades were sold out, which I was on the website right at nine o'clock. So not really sure why they weren't available, but I did get the shade Nude. So this is what Nude looks like, and I'll be using it today. And then on the other side, you just have this clear balm. So let's get into the product. The product by itself does retail for $86 and we get a total of 3.38 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters of product. So Mother Pat says, I wanted to create an effortless yet effective essence to reawaken our skin's natural glow. This does it all, hydrates and rebalances. So skin is soft, smooth, and luminous. It's my dream come true. So some highlights about this product is that it has a breakthrough biface technology. It has a lightweight emulsion. It nourishes, hydrates, and rebalances, softens and smooth skin's texture, strengthens the skin barrier, imparts a luminous, plump glow. It's formulated for all skin types. It's non-comedogenic. And she suggests using it after cleansing, and I'll get into some of those details in a little bit. Some remaining details that I want to share with you is that she's going to reveal her secret to revitalize luminosity with a transformative by face formula that does double duty to address dull, dehydrated skin and bring out the glow in an instant. Its powerful rose bionic complex helps to calm, rebalance, and fortify the skin's barrier. And then we have Hydrosphere 18, which is a metamorphic combination of botanically derived oils that will nourish and replenish the moisture levels of the skin to plump, smooth, and soften the look and feel of skin. When looking at the ingredients, it is formulated with 97% naturally derived ingredients. It's free of silicone, parabens, sulfates, gluten, mineral oil, petrolatum, and phthalates. It's cruelty free and it does have faint notes of rose and jasmine. And I will say, I really don't smell anything. Um, so I used the product yesterday and also yesterday evening and I've used it this morning. I really don't smell anything. Um, I think if you are sensitive to fragrance, I know Alicia is and she said that the rose scent didn't bother her, that she could smell it, but it didn't bother her. I don't smell anything, so I do think the fragrance in this particular essence is quite low. I tend to not mind fragrance within my uh, skincare products, but I do like it when the fragrance is not so overbearing and so overpowering. Uh, fragrance is at the very bottom of the list. So like I said, I am happy that this product is not overly infused with fragrance. Um, because that can be quite annoying when it's special when it is kind of overpowering. And then of course, I know that fragrance does bother a lot of people who do have sensitive skin. So 
just take note of that. Now, the way that Pat suggests using this product is that she says to get the glow, use morning and evening as your first step after cleansing and before applying your favorite serums and moisturizers. She says to shake to mix the biface formula, sprinkle a few drops into your palms and adjust as needed and then massage the product into the skin and also your neck. And she, which I really was happy about, she gave us tips if you have oily skin and then also if you have balanced or dry skin. So for oily skin, she says that the essence may be used on its own as a lightweight moisturizer. So this could be your lightweight daily moisturizer. If you have balanced skin to dry skin, she says apply the essence first, then layer on your serums, oils, and or moisturizers from thinnest to thickest as needed. And then she says you can press into the skin as needed for extra hydration throughout the day. So as you all have already seen, I went on ahead and applied the essence first. I cleansed my face and that was it. I had nothing else on my face. So pressing this onto the skin, let me show you the formula because I don't think I captured that in the, um, in the video. But this is the formulation of the product. It is that milky texture and the formula feels very thin. It also feels quite soft and softening to the touch. It feels like a very lightweight moisturizer. I think that uh, description of the product of the essence is quite accurate. It also has some tack to it. So when I first applied it to the skin yesterday and I was pressing it into the skin, I was like, ooh, this is quite tacky. And it immediately made me think this would be a great product to put on right before makeup, which obviously it is because that's what she uses to prep her model skin. The tackiness does fade after a while. So I've had on this essence now for I would say about seven minutes or so. And my skin feels still feels a little tacky, but just not as tacky as it as it did right when I first applied the product. So what I did yesterday morning was I applied the essence first and then I put on my serums on top, but I didn't add a moisturizer because I just wanted to see like how does this wear by itself, if I can say as a moisturizer. Granted, I put my serums on top, but I didn't put on an, an additional moisturizer. And I was actually quite pleased with how my face felt. It did not feel like it was dry. And for the record, I do have more normal skin with dryness around here and also right around here. So none of those areas felt dry to me. They also didn't look dry. I did not feel like my skin was pining for hydration as the day went on. And I also didn't find myself creating more oils throughout the day because my skin was dehydrated. So I do think that this essence often a first initial application and if I could say a general like first impression this essence does offer hydration I will give the product that I also do think that if you have oily skin I could very much see this this being used as your lightweight moisturizer because it is quite lightweight but like I said it does have some softening properties within it so it's not a very thin water-based essence only to where when you put it on your skin it's going to absorb quickly and then you're going to feel like I need to add something else to the skin and I do feel like if you have more normal skin dry skin then you will want to add your serums and moisturizers on top because this won't be enough hydration for you if you have combination skin, depending on where you're leading in the combination area, this might also serve as a good lightweight moisturizer for you as well. I think for me, the way that I see myself using it just with how I've been using it, I will apply this first as like my essence and toner. I'll go in with my serums, I'll go in with my moisturizer, and then I will put this back in on top before I add my foundation and that's what we're going to do today so i'm going to quickly put on the rest of my skincare and then you'll see me add this on top and then we'll go in with pat's sublime foundation because we have to we must and i'll also tell you why when we get there while i'm using that foundation so let's go in and add some other products just so you know i am going to add the dime hyper glow serum this is an antioxidant serum that is going to help brighten the skin i'm going to also add the dime hyaluronic acid 
and the Dime sunscreen. And I do have a discount code with the brand. I've been using these products for a few weeks now and I really enjoy them. So I'm gonna add all of that and then we'll come back when we go to apply the Essence Again and Pat's foundation. Okay, so, and I also forgot to mention, I added the La Mer Eye Concentrate for my um, eye cream. So now I'm, I'm gonna add more of the Essence. I do like that not a lot comes out. Like you pretty much have to shake the bottle to get product out. So I do like that. Um, that does ensure that not a lot of product comes out, which means you're not gonna be wasting product. So I'm just adding the essence in. I like to pat it in and then smooth it around as I see fit. This is quite smoothing to the face and the texture that I do have on my face. So as you can see, I've got some nice little friends all along here, a new little breakout right along here, and running my fingers across this textured area, it does feel nice and smooth. So I am very happy about that because, you know, breakouts are frustrating by themselves, but it's worst and, you know, most frustrating when you can see kind of like the scaliness of the breakout through your foundation. It really does just throw off the look of what you're trying to accomplish. So I would agree. This also does make the skin nice and soft. And I really like, I really enjoy it in terms of first impressions. So now I'm gonna go in with her Sublime Perfection Foundation. I do wear the shade M17. If you've never tried this foundation, it is literally top three foundations for me across the board. I've been loving this foundation for years now. And I, I mean, it's, what made me fall in love with this formulation is that it is quite thin and it really is perfecting of the skin. So you can wear this with more of like a glam look, obviously, but I loved that I could put this on with my fingers and go out the door, like put it on, go out the door. And that's what I'm doing today. I have a little obligation to get to after filming this video and all I'm gonna do is put this on, throw on a lip and I'm gonna be out the door. And it's not gonna look like I need to put on extra makeup. It's not gonna look like I have just a, cake face of foundation and that's it. Now, when I first tried this product, I didn't like it because my skin was not properly prepped and so therefore the dry areas of my skin looked extremely dry, okay? I realized I need to prep and then we were good to go. So I'm gonna use this today because if this, if I don't prep my skin like I should, I'm gonna look really dry right along here and right along my forehead. Usually I'll go in with a hydrating primer like my Lila B A Glow Priming Oil, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'll go in with something like that that's gonna really make my skin look hydrated and very moisturized before going in with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take one full pump because that's all I need and I'm gonna blend this in with my fingers. And y'all know, if you know me, I do not like blending in product with my fingers, but this is one foundation that I can do that with, and it just looks so good. I would say this is definitely one of those foundations that one of the best ways to apply it is with your hands. And so as you can see, this is blending in so nicely and this is blending in really smoothly on top of this essence i i'm really liking this essence as a primer and the skin is skinny okay this this looks really beautiful so i'm going to come in close so you can see like i said i usually will see texture all along here if my skin is not properly prepped with this foundation and like all along here and i feel like those areas do not look dry i do not feel like they look like they're not properly hydrated and i put on a light thin layer so you still can see my breakouts and things like that but I feel like my skin looks really beautiful and y'all know I love me a glow and I am loving this subtle glow of just healthy looking skin that I feel I'm getting with these two products together. So first impressions, I like this. I know that for an essence, this might seem a little expensive and I really think if I'm being just dead honest, we're paying for Pat's name as well. You know, Pat is definitely not a 
affordable brand um but and also but also i look at it for skincare that really works skincare that is of great quality there are times where you're gonna have to pay for it and i am here for it when i know the product works i will definitely uh update you all after using this for a good month to let you know if i'm noticing any differences within my skin and if i feel like you know long-term usage you're going to see some benefits this might end up just being a great priming step prior to makeup or it really could be in a very beneficial skincare product in addition to a priming product so i'll keep you updated with my thoughts on that but off of initial application i'm loving how the skin is looking and i definitely see myself continuing to reach for it now the two products i wanted to compare this to are going to be the keys soul care tranquil essence and then also the wander beauty Miss Connection essence and toner so when i first found out that pat was coming out with this rose essence i had just purchased this key soul care tranquil essence and i was like mm, i wonder if there will be some similarity between the two because if there is the key soul care one is only 25 dollars. okay so i've actually been using this key soul care tranquil essence for at least two and a half weeks now. I have put it on after I cleanse and this is going to have more of a watery tone to it. So this is what it looks like. It's clear, no fragrance at all. And the formulation is thinner than the Pat McGrath one. And Pat's is thin, so don't think it's thick. But this one is thinner and it feels more water-based, whereas Pets feels more milky, if that makes sense. Just to give you some quick high points about the Key Soul Care one, it's a gentle rose-infused toning essence that delivers moisture while soothing and calming the skin. So it's gonna be developed in partnership with board certified dermatologists. It's a rose-infused daily hydrating essence, gentle and free of drying alcohols. It delivers a soothing hydration to the skin. It helps to create softer, smoother, healthier looking complexion and it's clean and cruelty free. So this particular product, I really loved the hydration that I do get from this product, or I should say I love it because I still like it. Um, it worked well with all of my other skincare products, and I did feel that this helped to add that extra hydrating benefit to the skin, and I felt like it also helped my serums and moisturizers that I, I applied on top to sink further into the skin. And for the record, I meant to say this in the beginning of my video, and I just got carried away, so let me just throw this in here. If you're not sure what a skincare essence is, like Chelsea, what is this? I don't know what it is. Why would I even want to use a skincare essence? Let me tell you. So an essence is a water-based skincare product that contains a high content of active ingredients to hydrate, protect, and boost the overall health of skin. So typically what you want to do is cleanse the skin, apply your essence, and then add your serums and moisturizers on top. And what this essence is going to do is it's going to allow for your additional serums and moisturizers to penetrate the skin better and deeper so that you really get the full benefit of the serums and moisturizers that you are applying on top. Overall effects are going to be healthier, smoothing, and more calm skin. So that is the purpose of, of essences if you were wondering because I know when I first started learning about them I was like what is this and why do I need it so with the key soul care tranquil essence the key ingredients are aloe and bamboo so aloe is going to be a favorite of ancient Egyptians it's going to be an antioxidant rich su succulent that helps to hydrate calm and cool the skin and then bamboo is going to be high in antioxidants and silica this skin soothing beauty staple is a vital ingredient for soft and supple skin. So I really enjoy this Key Soul Care Tranquil Essence. I think this honestly could be a good recommendation. If you're looking for an essence, you don't wanna pay the Pat McGrath price tag for the essence, or maybe there's an ingredient in the Pat McGrath that you feel that you can't use, I would definitely recommend the Key Soul Care one. I'm definitely not saying that this is a dupe for the Pat McGrath one because the look of the Key Soul Care one, I don't think you can see it through the bottle, but this is a clear, if I could say, water-based type of essence. It doesn't have this bi-phase technology that the Pat McGrath one has. So 
keep that in mind. Not saying that they're a dupe, but I really enjoy this one. I will most definitely continue to use it um, with the Pat McGrath one, you know, on days that I feel like I just want a little extra, extra, extra hydration. I'll go in with this one first because the formulation is thinner, and then I would go in with the Pat McGrath one. The other one and my last recommendation kind of comparison would be the Wonder Beauty, the Miss Connection Essence and Toner. So this retails for $40 and it's a two-in-one mist that combines essence and toner to balance and moisturize skin in a single step. So shake and watch the two formulas blend together to deliver intense skincare benefits. It also has the biphase formulation quite similar to Pat McGrath's that's gonna combine an essence that the essence is oil-based in this particular formulation and the toner, which will be water-based. And same thing for Pat McGrath. She's got the oil-based formula and the water-based formula. The white oil-based essence adds moisture and preps the skin for next steps of your skincare routine. It's gonna to help to even skin tone, soothes the skin with niacinamide and adenosine. It has a pink water-based toner that helps to balance skin's moisture and pH. It's, it's an ultra fine nozzle that dispenses a luxurious cloud-like mist, and that is so true. Watch, look at that. It is great. I really enjoy this product too. I know I didn't shake it up. You're supposed to shake it up first and then do that, but I just wanted to show you the mist. Um, and after cleansing to create a moisturized balance and softened base to allow for the rest of your skincare routine to work more effectively. And this is suitable for all skin types as well. The one thing about the Wonder Beauty Essence that I do want to point out is that it does have lavender oil in it, um, and I actually really enjoy the smell. I love lavender. It smells quite calming, very much like a spa, but if lavender oil does bother you, then the Wonder Beauty Toner Essence would not be a recommendation for you. I really enjoy this product. I would use it every day, especially when I first got it. Um, and this is very hydrating to the skin, very hydrating to the skin because of the oils that are in this. I would say that the Wonder Beauty uh, Toner Essence leaves the skin looking a little more dewy than the Pat McGrath one does. The Pat McGrath gives us a subtle glow. This one is gonna be a little more dewy because it does have more oils in it, but if you have drier skin, maybe more normal skin, and you apply this first, add your products on top, it's not gonna leave you with an oil slick. Um, but this one is just a little bit more dewy just because there's, if I could say, more dewier oils in this formulation. Um, this one is also cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, alcohol-free, PBA-free, and it is dermatologist-tested. And it's free of synthetic fragrances and mineral oil. So I would highly recommend the Wander Beauty Toner Essence as well. Um, like I said, I've used it and really enjoy it. It still sits in my cabinet and I will reach for it during times where I feel like my skin just really needs a pick-me-up, a boost of hydration. I will use this one and I do like the convenience of it being a spray because I can wash my face, spray my face really quickly, pat in the product and keep it moving. So I would say if you were interested in the Pat McGrath Rose Essence and you wanted something that is similar, not a dupe, not even sometimes with the same, you know, concept, but you want the benefits of added hydration, healthier looking skin, smoother skin. I would recommend these two top, these two products as well because they have similar ingredients in terms of the Key Soul Care one. This is a rose infused toner essence. The benefits are quite similar. You're gonna be left with healthier looking skin, glowing skin, hydrated skin. And both of these products I've used and I really enjoy using them and I still use them. So if I didn't have the Pat McGrath Rose Essence, I would be using on the daily the Key Soul Care one and I would use the Wonder Beauty one when I felt like I needed added hydration and more of a do your type of complexion. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me go ahead and just add this little highlighting balm on top because we have it here. And I wanted to show it and I almost forgot to put this on. And I was like, wait, I can't end this video without adding this on top because this is just gonna be a nice glow to the skin. Yes, who doesn't love quick and glowy products? Look at that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I 
hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you interested in the Pat McGrath Rose Essence? Do you have it? And let me say, this came so quickly. Ordered it on Friday. It was here yesterday, which was Wednesday. I was like, okay, Pat McGrath with the shipping. Because I was a little scared because her Bridgerton 2 collection came so late. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the product? Do you think it's a product that you would like to have? Do you have it? And do you have a favorite essence that you would like to recommend? Because I do enjoy a great essence. You guys know I'm always here for your recommendations. So leave all of that down below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.